Hey folks, in previous tutorial you have learned how to create a structure for Creo cabling, how to make a copy geometry, and three different ways how to copy surfaces from the assembly to component. And, the, and also I have explained to you how to manage the visibility of the features in the 3D models or assemblies by view manager and layers. And we would like to continue with the Creo cabling. And right now, the, you know that this is the structured, the sub-assembly for the Creo cabling. And then we have a geometry separated in the component. So what does it mean? I will open this sub-assembly. And in this sub-assembly, what we need is the start, the working with Creo cabling functionality. And you are able to jump into application and cabling. As the first component, what we will create for the Creo cabling is the create harness. If you will select create harness, you have to specify the name. So for example, harness 001. And if I confirm OK, we are able to select the template or you can use the empty file. For now, I don't need to see the coordinate systems and some additional feature, for example, parameter, so I can use the empty feature. It's okay. And you can see that for the cabling, the object is automatically activated. And also, what we need to do is create the new spool. And what is in the spool? If you would like to create new spool, you can choose between wire, cable, or the ribbon, for example. So, for example, I will start in quick this example in with the wire and in the wire we need to specify the name. So, for example, we w, W001 will be name. So, you can see the name here and also will be visible in the model tree. But over here you can see that I am able to change, for example, the thickness. And, for example, my wire will be 5 millimeters and the minimum bend radius will be something like eight millimeters. All these details you have to specify for the wires and cables one by one and prepare the geometry for you. Also it's possible to read from hard drive or you are able to specify the configuration option where these spools are located. If I will come from OK, I'd like to show you that I didn't apply the color for now. So what does it mean? You can create your custom color and in the view tab is the appearances and you can select from the predefined colors or you are able to create your custom colors by the appearance manager. Yeah, so it's up to you. And also you can check the previous tutorial how to manage and create and work with appearance manager. For this example, maybe I like to reuse the color ref underscore color 24 and this color I'd like to apply for our spool. Okay, the name is ref underscore color 24. So in the application cabling, I'd like to edit the spool. So I will use the edit and I will edit the just created spool. And as the color, I will set the name, the ref underscore color 24. If I will hit enter, it will be up automatically here. Sometimes you are not able to see this color here, so you need to change in the view and columns and you are able to add the missing attributes. So for example, if color is not here, yeah, you can change it here and then color move it back. Yes, yeah, so you see here that over here are arrows and you can choose what you would like to see. If you would like to see the density, you are able to add density. And if you come from OK, the system will add density and you are able to manage your custom values. It's up to you. Add most necessary parameters for the electrical parameters as you need. So OK, I will come from OK and we are able to continue. For now, we have created spool. Spool is visible here in model tree and we would like to start placing and route the cables. The first thing is that I do not know where to start, yeah, because what I need is some start point where the cable will be placed. 
and best practice is if you will place the pin models here and I have uh, created the new pin model suitable here and also for example will be better if this pin model will be placed on some axes or some surfaces if you miss some datum features for example axis you are able to create the axis directly here or it's maybe a better way if you create a copy of the existing geometry. So if I will jump to the original main assembly and I will activate our copy object. Yeah, so I'll simply activate. We can create the axis from the existing reference. So for example, here and confirm OK. And also I'd like to create the additional axis here from the surface. What does it mean if I will use the control A and then I will open the 3D model and activate the axis. The axis will be visible and we are able to reuse this axis, for example, for the pin placement. So what does it mean? I will go back to the, our cabling assembly and in this cabling assembly, you see the harness is still activated. I'd like to place the 3D models, which will be characteristic for the pin and placement and routing the cables. So I will close the cabling here. So harness is not activated. We will place the pin model. So I can directly search really quickly and apply the placement. You are able to apply placement simple and easy. So you can reuse the dragger or also you can reuse the separate window. It's up to you what is better for you and for me, it will be better right now. Reuse this separate window and I will use the axis placement. And also, we know that it is necessary to use the coincident. And as the new constraint, you can move a little bit and combine selection and again use the coincident. What is great, I have placed the first pin model and also you are able to use the control C, control V, so copy and paste, so control C and control V. And I'd like to apply the placement for the axis and surface. And the second pin model is placed here. As I mentioned before, in the first Creo cabling tutorial, if you are working with the pin model, the Z assembly has to go outside and you can change the name of the coordinate system, for example, as the port. OK, let's continue. We would like to work with the Creo cabling. So in the application cabling, what we need right now is to designate the models, which will be propagated for the routing cable. So I will designate the first pin model. You can select the name of the connector or use, you can use only enter as the default name and then you need to specify entry port and the system will ask you please specify it and select the entry port so this is the reason that I changed the name of the coordinate system it will be port and then system asks you about the length of the cable which will be inside so for two millimeters is good enough and I can confirm done we need to continue with the designation of the second component. So we will select the second component, enter, enter as the name. And also I will specify the port and the depth, what will be for the cables inside. Everything is specified. So simply to say, we can say that we have a harness. Yeah. Model. Then we have a spool and pin models are designated we are able to route cables. If I will select route cables, what we need to select is here, for example, that you would like to create wire or cable or ribbon. Depends what you have specified before, while we have created spool or when you designate the, the pins. So I have created wire and we need to select and specify the forum where I'd like to start. We would like to start from this component. The system automatically recognizes that over there is the coordinate system with the name port. And if I will come from done, the start location is specified. And then two, where I would like to finish is this model, but also you are able directly to select, select the port and the system 
will place the cable or wire or ribbon from port to port. If I will come from OK, now it will be really strange. Yeah, I can show you that if I will switch on the thick cables, the cable will be visible, but in our assembly it will be really strange because I don't think so that you would like to have the cable or wire like this. And this is the reason that we have created a copy of the existing geometry, for example, a couple of surfaces, and we would like to continue and place the and make the location of the cable. So simply and easy. Right now, I think that you see that why I have created a copy of the geometry, because right now I have in this small assembly only a few references and it's best for the placement and working with the cables. Now, if you will select the location, the system asks you where you would like to place it. So, for example, I'd like to place it here. So this cable I'd like to place over here on this axis also. You can continue to specify this next point and then you are able to select surfaces where you would like to go and for example i'd like to continue on this axis and for example here so if you will come from ok and then i will show you the thickness of the cable you see that everything is here and if you will change the diameter it's easy you can change for example spool and spool and edit existing and I don't want to see the thickness of 5 millimeters but maybe for example 40 I know that is not true but as the example I think that will be really great and if I will re regenerate you will see that how the system calculate the placement and orientation of the cable and so on so it's up to you what you will specify it of the thickness so I would like to go back with the thickness because the 40 is really really huge number yes yeah? so for example the as what is so five millimeter is good enough and regenerate and it's good okay so it was example and in the 3d model you see that system maybe make some small mistakes so this is the reason that i like to continue on this assembly and next tutorial and I will show you how to update, for example, the placement and edit and the system will don't, do not go through, the, the, for example, this material because you would like to have the really, really nice placement of the cables. And everything depends where you select the placement of the cables, where you place it. Yeah, so let's continue with some updates, how to modify and edit the cables and routing so let's see stay tuned and bye bye vladimir